Okay, so to continue with this section, we ended up at this point uh, where we added our materials, we defined our parameters, variables, and we were able to draw our geometry. So now we're moving on to the physics section and we come to lambda battery. Lambda battery will be active battery material. So that's for the land battery. The applied current will be this and the battery cell capacity will be this. But also initial states of charge will be S, we'll see. Initial. Have the perturbation amplitude discretization all here. Okay. So now go to the cell equilibrium potential and when we come to the open circuit voltage at reference temperature will clear the section in and load this. Wow. So this what we are supposed to use and also in here, we load from file the section. Okay, so we move to the voltage losses. We have the selection temperature. I want to use this and I want to define the over potential. Should include activation potential and a dimensionless charge exchange current should be J zero. I want to include concentration over potential should be the particle to so the, the time constant should be tau and we have the species with spheres. Okay, we move to the axial symmetry. Okay, that would be that for the lambda battery. Go to the heat transfer in fluids and we look at the temperature. Discretization. Okay, and we move to solids where we have this selected. Now we'll, we'll add another solid to this work, we we'll add another solid. But first, let's look at the initial values. We want to change the temperature to T initial. This is the axial symmetry have the thermal insulation as well. So we add another solid. So solid two will be for the active battery material and thermal conductivity should be diagonal. 
so that we can input our own thermal conductivity tree. And also in here is KT. Engine. Mm. User defined. So we we'll define this as row of the battery. Also should be user defined and C P the battery. That the heat capacity. So we'll add another solid, which will be for the mandrel. Also we go to the temperature, which should be user defined. This should be isotropic. See, greater user defined. You know, the separator. So we user defined, and this should be CP separator. And we we'll add a heat flux. Each flux will manually select two, seven, and twelve. This side of your heat flux, and you want a convective heat flux such that between twenty and external temperature should be the shot temperature. Okay. okay, so now we can now mesh. Let's use a user controlled mesh and size would be normal. Let's take off this free triangle and let's add mapped we are adding mapped and it should be for remaining control let's uncheck the smooth across we uncheck this section and now we build a mesh so now that we are, we are done meshing our geometry, we can move to steady to input the times that we want. So zero, two, one, zero, zero. We want a user controlled tolerance, it should be one, Eight power minus two. So we can now go ahead to compute our work and see the results. So as you can see, getting values for initial mean and average temperature. Okay, so now we have our results. So this is the graph of the cell potential versus time. And the load, cell potential and load versus time. And the state of charge also. See this, the cell state of charge and the cell's current. 
this time period and go to the 3D. This I have a 3D plot group for the, the temperature, surface temperature. We have the isothermal contours, temperature versus time graph. This is the temperature versus time graph for the mean, max, and minimum temperatures. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this section. If there are any questions, kindly drop them in the comment section and I'll do what to attend to it. So thank you.